Hey, thank you for checking out the video. Today we get to take a look at the Olight O-Station X. It's a three-in-one battery analyzer, charger, and storage device. I'm gonna go over its features, specifications, and also running it through a little test to, on this video as well. We're gonna be throwing in a bunch of different AA sized batteries in here, um, some of which that are not rechargeable or different types of batteries than nickel metal hydride, which this is designed to use. So we're gonna see how it processes those, sorts the bad ones out, and so on and so forth. In addition to that, I'm gonna be giving you my own experience with this product. I've had it now for about two months and have been using it throughout that time. So I'll show you or tell you um, about any hiccups I've had, any, uh, you know, it's track record basically. This is officially being released at the end of February, 2025. Now, Olight's official sale begins on the 28th, but if you have diamond or above access, you might get earlier access on the 27th to the sale. The MSRP, regular MSRP is $119.99, so basically $120 US. Now, um, during the sale, it's gonna start for $95.99, and there's various trim levels, so to speak, um, based on how many packs of batteries you wanna include with this um, three-in-one device. So. This is like a case or a box of eight nickel metal hydrate batteries uh, branded by Olight. They look like this. And you know you can choose to pick up you know, how many or how few of these you want in conjunction with this device. So the price point kind of just climbs up based on whatever package you want to go for this. But yeah, the O-Station X, um, interesting choice by Olight to do this. So it's kind of flashlight adjacent. Yeah, they put a lot of R&D into this thing and I believe it started off as a crowdfunded project and um, came to fruition and um, won an award at CES, I believe as well. So, oh yeah, here it is, uh, Innovation Award. So pretty cool, honoree, sweet. All right, I'm gonna give you a basic overview of this product in layman's terms. Basically, you've got three sections of this. You've got a hopper up here at the top um, basically uh, four different channels where batteries can kind of file down into the bays right here where they're analyzed and charged. Um, and then there's a dust cover on the top of this right here. Uh, plastic dust cover just slides open like this, like a garage door. And then you can plop your batteries down in those compartments. Pretty interesting. And then, yeah, I guess when you're not actively dropping in batteries, you can close that if you're worried about some dust. Uh, but that's the top part. And then obviously this is where the magic kind of happens when it comes to analyzing, which is actually what this product is doing right now. This green light means it is um, analyzing a battery that's in one of these channels. When it's charging them, you'll see this blue light with a kind of a light wheel that's working around. And then when it's done doing all of its tasks and there's nothing else in the hopper, it, the light just turns off and it just kind of goes into a sleep status or dormant status, so to speak. Um, got a little tray right here. It's kind of a push in tray and right here is where it will spit any rejected batteries so if i were to accidentally drop a or on purpose drop a alkaline battery in this just to test it which we'll do later um, it's going to wind up in this tray here because the device will detect hey this is not a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery so it'll spit it out in this tray so the one thing about this is you've got to check this periodically um, because it can't hold an unlimited amount of batteries so you're just gonna have to make sure you still have room in this tray to accept rejects um getting into my own experience which i'll save most for later on occasion it'll spit in what i think is still a good battery in here so i'll just plop it back in the machine let it reanalyze it and it usually makes it through um, that's rare that that happens but it can happen i've seen it happen a few times uh, myself um, i don't know why it is rejected initially it could be I, I don't know what your guess is as good as mine there but yeah and then the bottom part here is the storage part give you a better look at that yeah, once again, little channels, they all file. And then you've got a little spring-loaded um, area here where you can just grab your batteries and go. And they're all stored like that. So a pretty nice way to do it. You always have fully charged batteries down here. And then whenever you have your old batteries, you put them up top. And the cycle continues. So pretty nice device. It kind of looks like a PC, uh, personal computer, like... To me in a way like one of the fancy ones with the clear cases i never had one but that's kind of what it looks like to me and it's a little smaller maybe than yeah probably significantly smaller than a real cpu but still um looks the same or very similar and uh yeah what else it can it can use 32 batteries at once 
that's kind of where it peaks out. And that's actually the max number of batteries that you can have included with this. You can get four cases of eight um, from Olight with this in a package or a bundle if you want to. And those come in like a bubble wrapped type case like this. So here's a look at one I haven't opened. But yeah, um, good way to it because they are batteries. Um, but yeah, that's what, you know, these cases come packaged like. And this is what they look like when they're opened. Um, I took the product comes with the USB type C to type C cable. It's about four feet in length. Has a little cable tie right here as well. Branded by Olight. Um, also included is a power adapter and I'm really glad they include this. There are so many cables out there and never seem to be enough of these, at least in my household. So I'm glad to have one of these and that it's included with this product. So you don't have to run out and find one or buy one separately. Charging time with the Ostation X, we kind of already went over the fact that it can take four batteries to analyze and charge at once. In between one and four batteries can be charged in 3.8 hours. That's the standard charging time for this, for nickel metal hydride cell. Now you can enable fast charging by using Olight's app. Now it'll bring your charge time down to about two and a half hours. So if you're in more of a hurry, you can use the app to enable fast charging mode on this. I don't anticipate ever using that though, because there's, theoretically there's always going to be batteries down here ready for you to just take and use. So I can't imagine, you know, myself using that necessarily. However, it is available if you want to. Um, slight nitpick, it would be cool if there was a switch or uh, a switch on the back or a button on the front or something to enable fast charging, you know, without having to use the app. I think that would be nice. But once again, I don't actually anticipate ever using the fast charging with this just because the storage is kind of built into the bottom. But that's just my two cents. All right, just three more things I wanted to show you about this real quick. On the back of the product is where you can find your USB-C ports to charge this. You'll notice there's two, and I think the second one is so that you can chain a second device to this if you want to, by just having one power input and then USB-C to C to chain them together. I think that's because Olight may be releasing a AAA version of this in the future, so you can have a one-stop shop, theoretically, for all your battery charging needs in the future with this so kind of thought ahead that's pretty cool second thing i wanted to mention is the tip protection so if you tip this it'll start beeping at you get a red light there saying hey something's wrong so if this accidentally tips you'll hear about it <laughs> from the device um next thing is this is kind of getting into some personal experience with this product i only ever had one jam with this thing and it occurred up here not at the bottom and basically they left a little push tab right here. So you can actually pop off this whole top portion, like so. So in my case, a battery was just kind of slanted. This is exaggerated, it wasn't that extreme, but it was just enough to not get it sitting in, in the charging slots appropriately. So yeah, I'm getting yelled at, sorry. But yeah, so that's kind of how you can take this off and then just snap it back in uh, if you want to do that. So I wanted to show that as well. I thought up a pretty simple test to do here. We're going to be putting 10 different batteries in this device, only five of which are appropriate for this device to use. In other words, only five are nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. And the other rest are either rechargeable, but a different voltage or different type or alkaline batteries that are not rechargeable. We're going to see how this thing handles it, how many it spits into this tray as rejects. Um, in theory, we should have five go through and five in the tray. Um, nothing too fancy. As far, let's start with the boring stuff first. We're going to be using three of Olight's nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. Um, a different brand is Power Owl. Um, I just had these, so I'm figuring I'll just use these nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries as well. So we'll put these through. So those are the five that you know are kind of um, acceptable or theoretically you know compatible with this. So we'll see if uh, those five make it through. I assume they will. And then all these right here are batteries you should not put in this device. Um, reason why I'm testing this is let's just say um, it's an accident or you've got kids or something like that. And then some batteries get thrown in here that this thing is not supposed to, you know, it can't recharge. It's going to reject them. So we'll start with uh, some alkaline, you know, 1.5 volt batteries here. We got one from Duracell and we got one from Energizer. Um, reason I chose these is they're probably the most common ones that could accidentally wind up in this machine. Um, we got a 14500 battery. This has a very high voltage, 3.7. This is a lithium ion rechargeable battery. It is rechargeable, but it is not to be used with this device. Um, so we're going to see what happens there. Um, this is one of Olight's 
uh, batteries that came in the i5R and it's a 2.4 volt rechargeable battery, but it's got a port here. Um, so this is not designed to be used with this. So we're going to see what happens there as well. And then this is a very obscure niche um, battery. I don't think very many people have these at all. It's a lithium iron phosphate, um, 3.2 voltage on this nominal voltage, uh, rechargeable lithium iron phosphate cell. So uh, same size as a double A. I'm gonna throw all these in there with the five sanctioned batteries and see how this does. So we'll check back. Um, one, one thing I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna be putting them, I actually already have a, let me show the camera. I have it unplugged right now, so it won't beep at us. I actually already have a Olight battery in there. The other slots are, are blank. So what I'm gonna do is just take one of these away because we already have one in there. But the rest of these I'm gonna put in um, kind of cattywampus, like some the positive ends will face the right and then some on the left. And we'll just see kind of how this, how this works. That's one of the nice thing about this design is it doesn't matter which pole you have facing uh, which direction. And then last but not least, that one there. Close it up. So let's plug this in and we'll see how it does. Uh, let me set this here. Okay, fan comes on, this white light lets you know it's starting up and then we should see it turn green as it starts to analyze these batteries. And yeah, we'll check back when this is all done, see what happens. All right, <clears throat> it has processed all the batteries and at the bottom here, we are left with four of the nickel metal hydride batteries. There's one power out missing, so it's gotta be up in here. Yes, so basically nine out of 10 processed as they theoretically should have. I don't blame the O-Station X for rejecting this, however, because I've tested these batteries on the channel before and I wasn't really impressed with them. Um, just sorry to say it, but kind of didn't meet the capacity tests that they claimed. And yeah, these batteries just weren't ideal in my opinion. But in any case, all the other batteries that should have been rejected obviously did get rejected. 14500, two alkaline batteries, Olight's proprietary rechargeable battery and the lithium iron phosphate battery. So that's all good. And yeah, so basically nine out of 10, but kind of like 9.5 out of 10 if you consider there's probably some issue with this battery. And with that, we're gonna wrap up the video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did get a good look at the O-Station X, its features, what it's capable of, some of the nuances with it as well. I was very surprised to see this product rolled out by Olight. Didn't expect it whatsoever. It's a good surprise though, in my opinion. Uh, very useful thing for households that use AA batteries or businesses for that matter. If you've got walkie talkies that run on these batteries, this could be a really nice device to kind of have the one-stop shop to make sure your batteries are good in the first place, charged up and stored for you. Um, only three in one type product that I think I know of that exists when it comes to rechargeable AA batteries. So definitely cool. I think it's been well done. So yeah, very useful little thing. I think if you don't use a ton of AA batteries, it, it's a little harder to justify something like this for the cost. But if you do, once again, live in a household that uses AA batteries and you don't, you're tired of buying alkaline batteries periodically, I think this could be a very good option for you. That's my two cents though. Um, I've had a good experience with it for the two months I've had it. In any case, I greatly appreciate you watching. Thanks again and I hope to see you in the next video. God bless you. Take care. See you later. Bye.